this is a massive work. Here's a lot of redstone and glass. Uh, all of this, these here, they lead up to uh, the buttons that you saw earlier. These uh, redstone torches here. And there's some redstone torches in, in back and those leads up to the lights. Uh, and here you can see the top. The lights, they are controlled by these here. And the buttons are down there. And let's go down, 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 down. And a little bit more down. Because this is just a uh, relay uh, to relay the power from the button push down here where the track selection actually happens. Uh, I don't remember all of these circuits here because I've been working on this for a long time. But you can uh, check out uh, Jarrett92's video that I've mentioned in the credits. And he describes these uh, circuits here really well. And uh, last time I checked he even had put up a schematic that you can follow. So, uh, yeah, these circuits, they basically get triggered by a button push upstairs and it goes all the way down here and even down here. I don't remember why. Oh yes, these here, they, I, I had to make it go down here because I wanted to send the signal back up again when the track was ready because I wanted the light to only show when the track was ready. So I had to force the signal to go down here and back up again. So these here controls the lights upstairs. I want to go here. I put ladders to make it easier to get up. Okay, obviously I fail at ladders right now. Okay, uh, so this here actually controls the uh, tracks that are on the other side of this wall here. And here's some buttons that you can push to manually override the destinations from downstairs here. So you can, for example, say, uh, I want to check out uh, destination 7 from down here. Uh, what you can do then is push that button that I pushed there. Uh, some lights get lit up. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but this light here was uh, not lit up earlier. Let's take destination 8. See, there, that one uh, got blown out and this one lights up. Let's go up. Mm, yeah. Uh, let's fall down and then go upstairs fall down some more and upstairs I tell you there we go now this is actually where you will end up when off when you depart you will fall down here and land on this track and you will go down here and depending on your selection you will be sent to one of these destinations here this is destination 8 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 1 is here. And what I've done is that you can also arrive here. So let's say you arrive from destination 1. You will go over here and you will activate this uh, detected rail here which will, in turn will power up this uh, con this junction here and this here will switch to lead you up here and you will go up here and follow these tracks and up here and then round and round and up and round and here we go to arrival gate number one now obviously I can't get up here because it's blocked 
the reason why I blocked it is because I don't want people to be able to go down here. So that also prevents people from getting up. Uh, so if you ever get stuck down here, you will have to use the maintenance access, which is the one that I got out of, which is here. Yeah. So, These stores are really fast. Okay, so I'm back here in the maintenance, you know, in the circuits area. And what? I can't walk over that? Why can't I walk? Okay, I'll just walk around. Okay, uh, so that's the circuits that I remember at least. Now let's go up again and take a tour. Let's see, where do I need to get off? Not here. Here. Do 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 do. So around and round, 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 round. Up, up, up. Let's see, is this door closed? Yes. I don't want people to be able to go in there. And now we go. So yeah, here you can create a bedroom, kitchen, uh, dining room, living room, whatever. Whatever you want. Your own little mansion above the train station. Okay, so let's see. I want... I selected number three earlier. Let's go to number five now. We wait for the light, and there it comes. So the track is ready. Now we see that the pest dispenser is filled up. So I push a button to call a cart. And voila, here comes the cart. And you heard the sound. So let's jump into the cart and let's push to go. Because I'm ready. Here we go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And I'm going to destination 5 and I'm bouncing back again because destination 5 is closed and off limits. Now I went up here to uh, gate 2. So now I, I mean arrival gate number 1. Now when I step on these plates here and the soul sand will be retracted into the wall by a piston that is under that earth there. The un under the dirt there. So, let's see. Whoosh. The minecart actually sinks into the sand, it looks like. And uh, now, I want to try platform 2. So, let's take a quick one. Uh, number 8 is really quick, so I'll set an empty minecart to, to destination 8, which will bounce it back and it will end up at platform 1. Now, that empty cart goes away and it should show up here any moment. There we go. There's the empty cart that I just sent off to destination 8. Now, I want to go to destination 8 as well. So, I take another cart, I jump into the cart and off we go. Now I'm going to destination 8, which is just around the corner here. Bam! I'm bouncing back because 8 is also closed and off limits. Now, let's see. Oh, I took right. Uh, I took left instead of right. That's good. Because that means that someone is at platform 1. I don't want to end up at platform 1 if it's already taken. So, I arrived at number 2. Same principle goes here. The minecart basically just sinks into the sand. Now, uh, let's see, now I can't get in here by any normal means, because you can't open iron doors normally, uh, unless there's a button or something similar. I use a lever, to, or lever, or whatever, however it's pronounced, to get to cheat my way in here. And there we go. Now, the moment I sent back the number one here, it uh, went dropped down onto the track that I showed you earlier, and it triggers the detector rail that I showed, and sends the signal back to the switching station, uh, switching moment, uh, switching module. Yeah, 
and resets the connection and sends uh, sends any new arrivals to platform one. So that's it. And all of these stations should be functional. Oh, right. This is the entrance. You can't get out here. Unless you, of course, want to right click. Uh, exit is here. You just walk on this and you are out. All of these should be functional. There's some difference in these circuits because of the northwest rule or southeast. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, but yeah, uh, I had to make some adjustments in to each individual station so that uh, they all work in all directions. But the look from the outside is identical. If you don't uh, consider uh, the direction they're facing. Okay, so I guess that's it. Uh, thank you, thank you for watching, and I guess this will. <coughs> uh, my voice is failing, so I guess this will actually be the upload unless the voice, the sound is crap. Okay, thanks for watching, and bye.